everyone again this is antonio and i'm coming at you with another exciting video in this video first of all i would like to start off by saying this is not financial advice this is for educational and entertainment purposes only all right so without further ado let's talk about dogecoin and like i always talk about in this video if i see the news i report the news and one thing about investing in cryptocurrencies, you have to be prepared for 80% swings high and 80% 80, 80 swings low, just like a roller coaster. And if you are uh, uh, scared to lose money, honestly, don't invest. Invest in index funds. People are making tons and tons of money in index funds. And that's probably a location where you want to put your money. So without that, we want to talk about Dogecoin. And here's why Dogecoin just dropped. Now, before I dive into this article, let's be candid about something. A lot of us thought when we, uh, when Dogecoin started to be accepted on one of the largest or the largest uh, platform, which is um, uh, Coinbase, we thought that Dogecoin was gonna do some magic numbers. And in this time, we gotta talk about some of the struggle, struggles of dogecoin and without further ado let's talk about it would dogecoin ever get back to the price points that we thought a lot of us are scribing to see dogecoin and we holding it till it gets past a dollar so we're going to talk about this article and then we're going to talk about uh, the forecast of dogecoin so let's read some of this article here's why dogecoin just dropped people trying to wish dogecoin to the dollar mark are seeing it pushed in the wrong direction. Dogecoin is trading down about 15% at nearly 22% as of 10.30 a.m. EDT. With this price down close to 20 uh, cents, the cryptocurrency is a long way from $1 level. Many believers were hoping for as the price skyrocketed, skyrocketed over the first several months of 2021. There are two items of news on the cryptocurrency front this morning. The big news is the ongoing campaign China's government is waging against Bitcoin. That's right. You got to think about it. Bitcoin is the granddaddy of all cryptocurrencies. So when Bitcoin is affected, it affects cryptocurrency across the board. Typically, it's not all cases, but typically this is what happens. So let's see what's happening in China and see why it's affecting Dogecoin or other cryptocurrencies. The People's Republic of China, PRC, has been cracking down on Bitcoin miners, driving Bitcoin prices to a level of about 50% off its 2021 highs. And now China's PRC-controlled central bank has ordered Chinese banks and payment processors like Ant Group's Alipay to help throttle cryptocurrency trading according to the report by the Wall Street Journal. Other news on the cryptocurrency front today was that MicroStrategy continued piling more Bitcoin onto its balance sheet. But after adding almost 500 million of the digital crypto uh, digital currency to value its holdings to over 3 billion, the support isn't helping boost cryptocurrency prices. Bitcoin is also down more than 8% today to a two-week low. And that is true. It's down a lot. Now what? China's crackdown on Bitcoin mining accelerated this week with reports that many mines in the uh, uh, province, uh, 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 province of Sashan were shut down. That means about 90% of the country's Bitcoin mining capacity is halted, according to CNBC. Shuttering Bitcoin mining and overall crackdown on cryptocurrency trading in China is having ripple effects over, I mean, on other digital currencies like Dogecoin. The campaign to eliminate a use case on cryptocurrencies is why Dogecoin's value is dropping today. So, I know I had to make this video because a lot of people are probably sitting around wondering why in the world has Dogecoin dropped to 22%, uh, 22 cent, not 22%. This is a level 
that many of us probably would never have thought that Dogecoin would get back to. But this is outside of the hype. These are some real behind the scene things that's happening. You got one country like El Salvador that want to use Bitcoin as the crypto as the currency of uh, as Bitcoin as their currency of choice or a legal tender. But then you got a China, a country like China that's saying we want you out of here altogether. And they're doing everything that they can to get them out of there. All right. So you got people like Jack Dorsey that's trying to take Bitcoin green. Once Bitcoin turned green, then these type of events will, you know, that they're going to go away because it takes a lot of uh, uh, of resources to mine Bitcoin. And that's part of the reason why uh, a lot of people are hesitant of getting into Bitcoin because it takes so much of resources to get it done. But it's having ripple effects across the board to other cripple cryptocurrencies. And let's look at price points, uh, the price prediction of Dogecoin. Now, Dogecoin right now is at 20 cents. According to the latest long term forecast, Dogecoin price will hit a dollar by the middle of 2022 and then two dollars by the end of 2023. Dogecoin will rise to three dollars in 2024 but right now what they're saying in 2021 mid-year dogecoin is going to get to 22 cents by the end of the year it's saying it's going to get to 54 cents these are some turns of terms of events and the turn of events are are clear that unless we get more countries to start using uh, Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies as a legal tenure, a uh, tender, then the purpose of some of these cryptocurrencies will be uh, null and void or they're gonna be minimum. I'm still part of the Dogecoin army. I understand these 80% swings up and down. It's not gonna sway me one bit. One bit. As a matter of fact, I'm about to buy more on the dip because I, I'm prepared to be in on this cryptocurrency for a while. I'm thinking if I'm on this cryptocurrency for a while, uh, then some of the legal um, events that's taking place behind the scenes will be uh, past us and we all will stop making some uh, profit. But this is definitely, definitely a turn of events what China is doing to get Bitcoin out of their country and it's having an effect on Bitcoin. And last time I checked, it was... Uh, definitely uh like 30 uh 8000 like it is down it is down a lot uh would i pull my money out do, uh bitcoin as well no i think about putting more money and buying on the dip but um these are definitely definitely turns of events about this um uh cryptocurrency and hopefully that dogecoin won't crash and burn that we will get back to where we need to be and um get back to all making profit so without further ado this is antonio with team tigio please like comment subscribe as i'll be coming at you with more videos just like this and without further ado i will see you next time